My name is Mr. Couch. I teach 11th grade as well as AP Physics here at St. Thomas. In physics, there is a connection between geometry and acceleration, and this is wonderfully portrayed in the geometry of a roller coaster. If you know the energy of the roller coaster, which is computable, and the curvature, which is also computable, one can compute the acceleration vector at every point on the roller coaster. So, after the students have learned the physics relevant to roller coasters, I ask them to design a roller coaster using No Limits 2 roller coaster design software. The software is actually used by actual roller coaster designers. There were certain physics related requirements the students had in constructing their roller coasters, but other than that, they were given a lot of latitude. I also made it clear to the students that in the world we live in today, building great buildings or bridges or football stadiums or roller coasters includes good physics and engineering, but equally important is aesthetic appeal, creativity, and how it makes people feel. Out of the 20 roller coaster designs completed, I chose the top six. The students reviewed the top six and chose their favorite. Keep in mind as you are watching this that the students started with only segments of track in an empty field. The students shaped the track, provided their choice of supports, paint, scenery, and landscape. This project lasted two weeks, and many students came to my classroom after school and during lunch on their own initiative to work on their roller coasters. The roller coaster you'll see was designed by the team of James McWinney and Chris Yao.